Guys, Mr. Wrestling Fanatic back here, back to back uploads. We're doing the G1 Night 16 review. We're gonna get right into it because I have something to do after this, so we're gonna try to do this as quick as possible. Uh, first of story, Yano Taichi, there's nothing really much to say here in the match. one star. End of story on that one. <laughs> the next match was Tsunado and Jeff. This was a really interesting match. Nido did say an interview. I didn't read or listen to the interview. I don't know if I want to be talking on it. And they're like, oh, Naito said this match you love Michael Elgin, and this match probably isn't different than Michael Elgin. And I thought about it, I was like, damn, it's really not that much different than wrestling Michael Elgin. Because Cobb and Elgin's style and movesets are, like, pretty similar. So, yeah, Naito had this well scouted. He worked on the leg. Really fun match. I give it three and three quarters. Naito one, keeping him alive in the G1 Climax. Hiroki Goto and John Moxley. This was a, a fun match. Um, nothing great. Some some heavy, hard-hitting strikes. Um, Hagoto won in a cool sequence. Uh, Moxley went hit the death like the mini Death Rider, and then he rolled through, picked him up for the big Death Rider. Goto got off, picked him up for the uh, Yushigoroshi, and then he flipped him into the GTR and just quickly hit the GTR to make sure Moxley could not counter out of it. And that won in the match. I was shocked on that one too. This match only went like eight minutes. I was like, wow. So Moxley's dropped three straight. He's still in line to win the block, though. If he beats Juice, and if Naito beats Jay White, and if Goto loses to Shingo, John Moxley wins the block. Because if Goto loses, he's obsolete. He holds the tiebreaker over Naito because he beat him. So yeah, there's that. And if he beats Juice, he wins. So yeah. I give this match three and a half stars, though. Goto won in a very su surprising match. I thought Moxley was going to win this one for sure. But yeah, really good match. The next one was Juice Robinson and Jay White. This one definitely was really good. It, it had, like, some fantastic selling from Juice Robinson and fantastic leg work from Jay White. This was a very technical type match, which I really liked. A nice change of pace from what we just saw twice we saw like a fast pace suplex heavy hard hitting match with Cobb and Naito and then we had that forearm fest between Moxley and Goto and now we're getting like a technical match and I, I liked it a lot it was really good uh, Juice just kept getting fooled by the by Gato here like Gato would distract him and White would get him but yeah the crowd was really in for it to in, in Juice bro they really wanted them to win wanted him to win Jesus I'm messing up a lot right now but yeah, great stuff. Some fantastic selling from Juice on the leg. Um, I wonder if that leg will play into any role, like any factor in his match with Moxley. But yeah, Jay White beats Juice Robinson. I gave the match, I gave it four and a quarter stars. Some great leg work, some great action. When Juice finally hit the left hand of God, the crowd popped. Sadly, the ref was out. So yeah. Jay White wins, keeping himself alive. If he wins tomorrow, he automatically wins the block, I think. No, Goto has to lose still. So if White wins and Goto loses, it doesn't matter if Moxley wins because of the tiebreak over him. White will win the block. And then the main event, Shingo Takagi and Tomohiro Ishii. This was absolutely fantastic. Nothing more, nothing less here. I gave him that five stars. Shingo's on fire right now. Fantastic chemistry, Ishii. Shingo won, knocking Ishii out of the block. And I hope we get Ishii and Shingo for the Never Open Weight title. Title. That would be phenomenal. Just some crazy fast paced strikes, pumping bombers, high angle uh, brain busters from Ishii. Just hard hitting. Ishii's ear was busted open, and a lot of mention of Ricky Choshu and Tenrayu because they were both influenced and trained by them. So yeah, there was that. Great stuff. Five stars. I, I think it might be better, a little bit better than the Naito match. I have them both at five stars, but I think it might be a little bit better. So yeah. So basically, here's how the G1 is going to go from now on. Um, Abushi and Okada, which takes place in the morning, that decides A block. B block's a little more complicated. Let's say if Goto wins, doesn't matter if Jay White wins. Jay White, if Jay White wins, 
Goto wins and Moxley wins, Goto wins the block. But if Naito wins, Moxley wins, and Goto wins, I think Goto would also win the block. Because, yeah, Naito beat Goto. No, that's that, that's a weird concept. I honestly don't know who'd win the block there because Moxley beat Naito, Naito beat Goto, Goto beat Moxley. <laughs> that, they didn't really explain that one, did they? Um, what if that all happens? I don't know what would happen. <laughs> so they're obviously going to try and avoid that at all costs. I do think Shingo's going to beat Mo Goto anyways, just knocking him out. I do think Juice is definitely going to be Moxley to earn a rematch, knocking him out. And then it's going to come down to Naito and White anyways. So yeah, I really do think it's going to come down to Naito White. And honestly, I do think Naito's going to win and face Ibushi in the finals. So yeah, there's that. Um, we got to wait and see. That was the G1 Night 16 review. Uh, tomorrow I might put out a top 10 personal favorite SummerSlam matches of all time slideshow for you guys. Because SummerSlam's the next night. And I did all my NXT reviews. They're all up. Go check them out. And by the way, interesting news. Next year's SummerSlam and TakeOver are going to be in Boston. I'm definitely going to try to go to TakeOver. No, I'm definitely going to TakeOver. I'm going to try and go to SummerSlam as well. But a thousand percent I'm going to take over again. So that's going to be absolutely incredible. But yeah, that was the G1 Night 16 review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.